Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is about finding part-time jobs in Australia. So let's get straight into the video. So the very first thing that you need to know is your employment rights. So make sure you log on to www.employersure.com.eu to know about employment rights. So basically in Australia you have the liberty to work for 20 hours per week as a part-time job apart from your studies. So this is the maximum you can work for. If you work more than that, actions might be taken against you. So make sure you stick to this limit. Now let's move on to how you can actually find jobs and where you can find them. So let's start off with the where. So there are different industries where getting part-time job is convenient for you and your peers as well. The very first industry to work for is retail where small electronics, clothing or accessories are being sold. This can be online or also might be some small store located near your college or your location. The next industry is hospitality. Uh, you can work in different hotels, bars, restaurants and other cafes and all uh, in the hospitality industry. Finding jobs in this sector is conveniently easy because a lot of uh, these joints are located in different parts of the city. The next industry you can go into is services. Uh, if you are someone who is good at communication, you can get into call centers. You can also work at local uh, malls, shopping centers, etc. These kind of jobs are also easier to find because there are different locations like these and you can talk to multiple store owners. The next thing you can do which is very very good for you and if you get a role in this sector, it will be very very good for your career as well, is to actually get a job in your own industry. So if you are someone who is in the media industry or an advertisement industry, getting a part-time work in some agency or some advertising agency would be very very great for your future because you can add that into your CV as well and that will help you in your professional career. So let's move on to how you can actually get these jobs. Uh, so the first thing that you have to do is to create a very very good resume. So creating and formatting a resume is a very easy thing to do. You can do it by just googling how to create a resume and you can use the custom templates available online. This resume will not just help you apply for a part-time job, but also for your jobs which will you will apply for after your graduation is completed. Now let's talk about how you can actually apply for the job after you have your resume ready. Once you have your resume, all you have to do is to approach these shop owners or store owners, go to them, ask for the job, uh, submit a resume. It might be possible that you can get a job immediately because there is availability or uh, the shortage of employees when you are needed. But it can also be the case that there are already enough employees working there. But in this case, make sure you keep your resume and let them know that you are available to work here. And eventually, if any of these uh, roles open up, you can be uh, sure to replace that person. In this way, you don't only secure a job for yourself in the near future, but also create ample opportunities for yourself to go into. So guys, these were a few tips that you can certainly follow. Uh, this will surely help you in finding a great job in Australia. The industry which have been mentioned are really, really good ones. They pay you enough and are also something which you can look into as a full-time option. So this was it for the video guys. Uh, if you have any other doubts, you can let us know in the comment section given below. If you want to have a one-on-one -on -one session with any of our advisors here at Gratly, you can feel free to contact us with the help of the description box. Our advisors will be very very happy to help you out in your journey. If you are liking the content guys, do not forget to give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as well if you don't want to miss out on such content. And again, thank you so much for watching the video. We will see you in the next one.